the triangle mid-segment theorem, we're at 5.4a with six previous videos for chapter 5 that are in the geometry playlist. A mid-segment of a triangle is a segment that joins the midpoints of two sides of the triangle. Every triangle has three mid-segments, which form the mid-segment triangle. So XY is a mid-segment, and YZ is a mid-segment. It's parallel to this one. See, the XY is parallel to PQ, and this XZ is parallel to QR. And the mid-segment triangle would be XYZ. It makes this little triangle, see? Examining mid-segments in the coordinate plane in triangle GHJ show that the mid-segment segment KL is parallel to segment GJ and that KL is half GJ. So we've got this pink mid-segment and we want to show it's parallel to GJ here. We find the coordinates of K and L by finding the midpoint of GH and the midpoint of HJ. We use the midpoint formula. So we've got the coordinates for G and H. We do negative 7 plus a negative 5 divided by 2 and a negative 2 plus 6 divided by 2. That's going to give us a negative 12 divided by 2 for X and a 4 divided by 2 for Y, which is a negative 6 for X and a 2 for Y. We do the same thing for H, J. We've got negative 5 plus 1 divided by 2 and 6 plus 2 divided by 2. And when we figure it all out, we get a negative 2 for X and a 4 for Y. Then we compare the slopes of segment KL and GJ. The slope of segment KL, using the slope formula, is a 4 minus 2 over a negative 2 minus a negative 6. Well, 4 minus 2, that's a 2. And negative 2 minus a negative, well, we're going to add the opposite, aren't we? So we have a negative 2 plus 6. That's going to give us a positive 4. We end up with a slope of half. The slope of segment GJ is 2 minus negative 2, which gives us 2 plus 2, that's a 4, and 1 minus negative 7, which is 1 plus 7, that's an 8, and again, we have a half. And since the slopes are the same, segment KL is parallel to segment GJ. So we know this is parallel to this one. They have the same slope. Now we need to compare their lengths using the distance formula. So you remember the distance formula for the distance between two points. We use the x sub 1 and y sub 1 values and the x sub 2 and y sub 2 values, okay? So we're going to compare the lengths of segment KL and GJ. So we're going to compare the length of this one to the length of that one, all right, using the distance formula. So using the coordinates we for segment KL, we get the square of negative 2 minus negative 6 squared plus 4 minus 2 squared. Now, this can be simplified to 4 squared plus 2 squared. I'm going to use prime factorization. Now, if you're confused about what I'm doing, I'm going to try to break it down as much as possible for simplifying this radical and using prime factorization. You need to go back and watch Algebra 1, Chapter 11. I'll have a link in the description for you to watch that, okay? Because you really need to remember this. So this 4 squared plus 2 squared, well, that's 16 and a 4, right? We can rewrite it as 2 to the third power plus 2 to the second power. That means we have 2 times 2 times 2 plus 2 times 2. That means we have 2 square root of 5. And for GJ, we've got 1 minus a negative 7 squared. That's going to give us an 8 squared plus 2 minus negative 2. That's going to give us a 4 squared. Again, using prime factorization, that's going to give us 4 to the third power plus 4 to the second power. And that would be equal to the square of 4 times 4 times 4 plus 4 times 4, or 4. four square root of 5, okay? And since this is 2 square root of 5, and it equals half of 4 square root of 5, we know that segment KL is half of GJ. This is half of this, okay? And the relationship shown in this example is true for the three mid-segments of every triangle, all right? And here's the triangle mid-segment theorem. A mid-segment of a triangle is parallel to a side of the triangle. So we can see DE is parallel to AC, and its length is half the length of that side. So DE is half of AC, okay? And using the triangle mid-segment theorem to find measures of mid-segments or angles, if you take a look at this diagram, 
we can see triangle RST, the black one, we can see a mid-segment UV right here. That's parallel to RT, isn't it? And we've got UW, that's parallel to ST. We can see the length of ST is 7.4. We can see the length of UV is 5.2, and we can see that this angle, VUW, right here is 41 degrees, okay? If we want to find UW, this one right here, well, UW is half of ST, and ST is 7.4. That's the triangle mid-segment theorem, and half of 7.4 is 3.7. So that's what UW is, it's 3.7. And for the measure of angle SVU, we have SVU. So we're going to be looking for this angle measure right inside of here, okay? UW is parallel to ST. This UW is parallel to ST. That's the triangle mid-segment theorem. And the measure of angle SVU is equal to the measure of angle VUW, this 41 degrees, that's the alternate interior angles thing, theorem. So if you think of segment UV as, as a transversal, so here we've got ST is parallel to UW. Think of UV as a transversal. And the alternate interior angles theorem, these are alternate interior angles. If that's 41 degrees, that's 41 degrees. So the measure of angle SVU is equal to 41 degrees. All right? Now, try to take a look at this diagram I've got here. I know it's kind of dark, but I'm hoping that you can see it. This is a crater, and across the mouth of it goes from point A to E, and we can see that this is 700 meters, this is 700 meters. So BD is a mid-segment, isn't it? 920, 920, and BD is 775 meters. So Emma wants to find the distance across the mouth of a crater, and she measures a triangle at one side of the crater. What is AE, the distance across the crater? Well, BD, our mid-segment, is half of this AE, isn't it? That's the triangle mid-segment theorem. And that's 775 meters. Well, we do 775 equals half AE. Now, all we have to do is multiply both sides of the equal sign by this two denominator. We multiply that by two, and we multiply this side. We could do two over one to make it easy. We get a 2 over 2, right, which is a 1 AE. And on this side, we have 1,550. And well, the distance across the mouth of the crater is about 1,550 meters. Okay? When we cut a triangle at its mid-segment, we create a smaller triangle and a trapezoid. If we cut it right here at its mid-segment, look what happens if I squeeze them together. It makes a triangle. See that? I make a triangle, a smaller triangle, and a trapezoid. And we can rotate the smaller triangle and place it next to the trapezoid, and it's going to make a parallelogram. Okay? So here's what you need to remember. When you have a numerator of 0 and a number for a denominator, like a 2, whatever, then it's going to equal 0. But if you have a numerator of 2 and your denominator is a 0, it's undefined. So the numerator could be any number. It doesn't have to be 2. All right? But if your denominator is 0, it's undefined. If the numerator is 0, it equals 0. And the triangle mid-segment theorem can be used to indirectly find the side lengths of a triangle. And two lengths with equal slope are parallel, and the slope of a segment is the difference of its y-coordinates divided by the difference of its x-coordinates, and we subtract the coordinates in the same order. Okay? And remember, every triangle has three mid-segments, and the mid-segment connects the midpoints of two sides of a triangle and is parallel to the third side. And the last thing I want you to take away is to be careful. When we see something like this, we can see where this 5n, that's the mid-segment. We know it's half of this. When we want to write the equation, we do not write 5n equals half times 8n plus 10. That's wrong, okay? Because that is not the same as 5n equals half parentheses 8n plus 10. That's the correct way, okay? And you would distribute that half to the 8n and to the 10, okay? Our next video is going to be a real quick short one. We're just going to construct the mid-segment of a triangle with a compass. That's 5.4b. And remember your transversals. Remember your distance formula. Remember your midpoint formula, and you'll be okay, all right? Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Hit that like button for me. Bye.